Hello? Is that better? <laughs> I had no idea. My my Twitch stream was muted this whole time. I am so sorry. Uh, I'm still new to this. So sorry. Thank you for watching anyways. <laughs> oh, well, welcome everyone on Twitch. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm also streaming on Instagram. It's a little, little tough juggling, juggling both, but yeah, exactly. Herp derp. That's right. <laughs> oh boy. Well, this, this is, this is legit only my, my like, uh, I don't know, six time maybe being on, on Twitch. So I'm still figuring out. It's it's not exactly the most user-friendly thing. But um, yeah, for everybody watching on Instagram, um, look, good for you guys. You heard all of what I just said. Anyways, yes, I am doing highlights. <laughs> um, I am doing highlights on this picture and adding a little bit a little bit more detail and what I'm gonna do now we've, we've done our afternoon Sun highlights on this side I'm gonna switch to this side and put in some some of this, this purple tone and let me just grab what we got here Whoops. and I'll drop some stuff all right so I have some pre-mixed tape that I put together I'll show you as soon as I find. Ah, right, here we go. All right, so I have this really nice uh, purple. It's actually, you can see there, it's like a pinkish purple. I was just saying this thing. I totally, I haven't seen the movie in a really long time. But, um, but yeah, there's there's the uh, tone we're gonna use on his right hand side, and just kind of again add some color to this character. Yeah, so still very new to Twitch. Um, I'm still figuring out my setup too. I was set up in a different part of my studio earlier today. If you watched that stream, and where where I was was um, it was working okay. However, I feel like after looking at what I had done on stream that um, it wasn't super clear or not not clear I guess I guess what I'm saying is not not enough of the screen was the painting there was a lot of the room in the painting it is like a lavender orchid yes thank you that's a great name for that <laughs> um, this is acrylic paint uh, acrylic paint is what I'm what I'm working with But yeah, it's a really nice little highlight touch. Um, and you know my my technique with the the lighting isn't still a work in progress. But um, again, we can we can get away with a little bit because the character is is metal, so how reflective he is is entirely up to me. So. I'm gonna, gonna give that a break for now, and we're just gonna switch back to a couple other areas. And one of the things I'm gonna do um, as a guide for when I work, I often use chalk. And what I can do is basically chalk in what I need. And then if, if there is chalk left over, and actually I was gonna put like a little guy on his shoulder, I think I'm going to cancel that. I really just want it to be him. So there's a good example right there. Gone. <laughs> um, but yeah. So 
what I'm going to do is chalk in some of the bolts that are on his chest. And this is a this is a really uh, great way to cheat and still get the effect I'm looking for, which is basically like some uh, the chalk is always about um, consistency. Oh, we do. We follow each other on Instagram. I had no idea. <laughs> Well, thanks for uh, for tuning in on Twitch. I really appreciate it. Hint, hint to everybody on Instagram. Follow on Twitch. <laughs> I know it's tough. It's it's hard to juggle all these like different accounts, but um, I am going to be doing a lot more on the Twitch stream than anywhere else. So. All right, so what I'm doing is, before I put the bolts on, um, applying areas where their shadows are going to be. You know, it's funny, every single painting uh, that I do, is very much a learning experience and I am not too proud to to say yes I do have something to learn here um, every single time and I think I think that really helps I think that's helpful uh, just so that you don't stop paying attention to what you're doing because if you think that you've got everything figured out then you have no need to pay attention and you stop learning. So there's always something new to learn, in my opinion. All right, so I'm gonna place bolts now and just a really simple dab of paint. And hopefully you guys can hear uh, beautiful music from an artist named Phil Lober. Um, Bugs Bunny? <laughs> I could do a Bugs Bunny. That would actually be really fun. Yeah, this, you know, that once I get to the uh, smaller parts of a painting, um, it can be fun or, oh lord, there's a lot of these, but uh, I'm going to give this like a two out of five, because, well, because I'm practically done. Okay, so... Let's come back to our highlights. Um, I'm gonna get into my black light paint. And what I have is a, a neon pink black light paint um, that I'm gonna start applying. 
I've actually got some in the palette right here, already, already laid out. So we're going to come back to our highlighted areas and add an even smaller highlighted edge. Now we're getting somewhere. So I wish you guys could see how this paint glows. Um, however, I'm pretty sure the camera can't really pick it up. Yeah, it, it looks like it looks like it's just purple, but um, looks really great in the dark. And I, I may make an attempt at that. I might turn the lights off and see if we can get get a good look at it. Um, it's very hard to photograph for some reason. All right, so then I have some neon purple for the other side. And again, I'm just going to mix it with a little white. Apply some in a couple spots. eyes, um, some white highlights, and oh, I almost forgot. The S. And um, what I've got for that is some dark red. I guess that's the other thing too, like I always work from dark to light, um, and that's mainly since it can be very difficult to work the other direction, and 
and I don't recommend trying. <laughs> From light to dark is, is very, very tricky. So I always start with the darkest tone and then add highlights to it. So I have this new setup uh, with the Twitch account and obviously running off of a laptop which is you know convenient uh, however it is also plugged into the power in my studio here the outlet that I would normally put my fan on and boy is it getting hot <laughs> It's only been a few minutes, but I'm, I'm feeling it. It'd be great to get a, um, an air conditioner in here. Hi, Capri Cody. Ciao. But yeah, um, air conditioner, maybe somewhere down the line, would definitely be helpful. Have the opposite problem in the winter time, where it's uh, freezing in here. Uh, but that's that's a slightly easier fix. Just have a heater, and put it right in the studio. Okie doke. Looking good. Uh, let's go back to our highlights again. And I, I do end up doing this very often, a bunch of layers on the highlights. And this is just white. But we're just giving it an edge. Um, also bringing up the contrast between the dark areas and the light areas. And contrast is really something nice to uh, to play up on um, paints that have a lot of dark areas, like this one. And I mean, it may not seem like it because of the sky in the background, but I mean, the bottom half of this painting is actually pretty dark. So wherever I can add some light and color. And again, we're just trying to keep the image itself um, visually pleasing, um, not too flat, but have a general kind of explosive look to it. And what's really going to be fun is my final steps where I add my um, I guess I guess kind of trademarked touch of splattering paint and then adding slashes on top of that um, something I started doing way uh, I back in like uh, I want to say 2013 maybe when I was first learning how to paint and I was just trying to get get like more of an abstract look, and that's what I came up with. But um, that is one of the things that's helped me stand out at Comic Cons, because there are other artists who sell painting. Um, however, there aren't that many that are willing to <laughs> honestly take the risk of splattering paint onto their 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 finished work.
But yeah, a few touches of white um, can go a long way. And again, like my my feelings on um, on using color and light to establish mood, I think is super important. Um, again, just to kind of like give that like visual visual impact. Hogarth, that's the kid's name from the movie? Thank you. I could not remember his name for the life of me. Well, you know, I did... I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, I, I used to have him... I used to have him um, standing on his shoulder. Oh, you're lurking. <laughs> Huh. I gotta, I gotta think about it. Can I think about it? I'm undecided. Oh, what the heck. Alright, so the only problem is um, I can't really like look up a picture of him right now. Well, maybe I can. Let's see. All right, so I'm going to connect another thing to the Wi-Fi real quick. <laughs> oh, let's see what happens. Hey, uh, Karen Creations, if you have your, um, your Twitch profile, send it to me, and I'll follow you. Yeah, that's that's kind of why I cancel it. But let me just see. Hold on, Hughes. Okay. I mean, he's a pretty straightforward character. You know what? Let's do it. I'm gonna do it. So you convinced me, and if, if I ruin this painting, it's all your fault. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, that was you. Okay. Well, thank you for watching on both. That's super awesome of you. All right, this is going to be a very, like, small little... And that's essentially what I had there before. Um... So, again, we're seeing the usefulness of chalk. <laughs> All right, fine. You know what? That'll be cool. I mean, he's not going to be huge or anything. <laughs> Blame me. I don't care. That's great. <laughs> I take full responsibility for my own decisions, though. Um, yeah, so let's, let's throw him in. And what I'm going to do is actually looking at uh, an image of this character online. He, I essentially can get away with his, the lower half of his body just being black because of how small he's going to be. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And essentially he's like black, blue, and red. But because again of the size, Actually, what I'll do is just fill the entire thing in.
So I have a question. Do you guys think this this feed looks better on Twitch or Instagram? Um, for anybody who's watching on both, like, yeah, because I'm I'm looking at both screens and I I honestly, well, all right, maybe the Twitch one looks okay. Anyways, I'm painting. I'm painting. Ooh. So I'm also seeing uh, on our Twitch feed, I have 14 alerts, which are probably all frame drops. So, yeah, sorry about that. Still working on doing something about our, our internet connection. Because uh, as, as of right now, it's a, it's a shared connection with... Uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law who live in the front apartment. So, yeah, sometimes we get get some some lag spikes. And I mean, you know, I'm not complaining because that was the arrangement that we agreed to. But sometimes adjustments have to be made. I'm just giving our little figure some, some time to dry uh, before I do any more on him. But that's okay, because the eyes on the giant needs a little attention. So I kind of roughed that up a little bit, but it's still wet. So I can do this. And better. All right, so for next the next one, I'll use a smaller brush. Um, you know, sometimes you're working. And it's just like I, I need to take like ten seconds to, to switch brushes. And do I do it? No. I'm not gonna lie, uh, I remember from watching this movie as a kid was like, oh, it's really cool. Like, he has a giant robot for a friend. But he was really scary when he did his, like, defense mode, I guess. And he didn't really attack anything, but yeah. He was just like, what's going on? <laughs> All right, so let's go back to Holgar. Now that I know his name, and we'll do the second pass on the skin. And really, like, I'm not going to do a huge amount of detail. Um, just enough to imply that he's there. And now let's switch back to our uh, 
dark red. And we'll give him, uh, let's see here. Yeah, we'll put the jacket on him, which has red arms. Highlights on it. And obviously, because of how small he is, I'm not going to go crazy with the detail. Uh, mainly because it's not really impossible to. You know what, since I'm I'm in my red palette right now, let's uh let's revisit the S on Iron Giant's chest. Do a little bit more highlight work. So I have a couple options for later today for the, um, the second painting that I want to do. And I was wondering what you guys think. I was either going to do a uh, Stormtrooper helmet painting or uh, e either that or the Batman or Superman symbol or a, um, a new Darth Maul painting. So I guess that's more than like a couple options, but... Uh, that's what I was leaning towards. But what do you guys think? Like, what do you want to see me work on next? That obviously is going to need a second pass. It's still a little, still a little. Yeah, oh, you're pushing me to be a better artist, huh? Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, you know, I have a. There's a guy who visits me at um, the show I do in Pittsburgh. He comes every single time, and he always asks for a, a transformer. And I honestly hate drawing transformers because of how detailed they are. But that's also why he does it. Like, the one time I just told him straight up, like, I really hate doing these. And he's like, I know. So, <laughs> so 
So yeah, thank you for that. It is true. It, it does make me better. Um, it's actually forced me to think a little, give a little bit more thought to uh, technical drawing. And actually, I also just got this really awesome book. Highly recommend it. I bought this in Canada. Um, I think it was like like twenty five dollars or something, but I'm sure you could find it on Amazon uh, for a good price too. Okie doke. Um, let's let's get into our our splattering of paint, which I've been teasing for a while now. So. My super highly specialized tool that I use <laughs> for splattering paint. Um, old toothbrush. But guess what? It works really awesome. So, you know, hashtag professional artist, right? Anyways, I'm just going to apply a little paint to it and literally just run my thumb across. And this is that um, that paint tone that I used earlier. And actually, what's going to be really fun is I'm going to do some of that right now. The uh, yellow in the Superman shield. Some of this purple. And in cases where I feel like there may be a little bit too much, I actually just kind of dab it away with a uh, paper towel. This, this, what I'm doing here is really like very much a graffiti inspired kind of effect. And hopefully you guys can see that. I'm not sure how, how well you can see. Oh, I got to check out your R2-D2. I didn't see it. But yeah, this, this, um, 
it's very much a graffiti inspired kind of effect that I started adding the paintings. We'll do some white. And then uh, my second highly specialized tool that I use um, for finishing touches is so the splatters are kind of like an organic kind of random, I mean, they are random um, kind of look. And what I do to, to kind of accent that is I add lines, um, completely straight lines of the colors that are in the painting over the top of that. And with that, I use my really, really old um, paint stick. <laughs> and... What I do is apply the color to one edge of the paint stick. And with this new series, what I've been doing is, is trying to um, focus on my brighter colors on this stage of the painting. So that's... I literally just, just apply it like that. Let me just mix in some fluorescent paint. And I'm also trying to follow, um, like I'm applying the color in the area where it would it would be on the painting. Um, so near the areas of purple is where I'm applying purple slashes. And then we're going to switch to our sunset orange. This is actually more of a yellow, so let's put it down here. And we're going to do a little bit more with our yellow, um, just around the eyes. I do try to keep it feeling fairly random. All right, and now just a touch of the red that's down here. Yeah, you know what, that is that is kind of like the feeling that a lot of people mention. Um, you know, they wonder like about the slashes and how do you get such a straight line? And I'm like, well, <laughs> I use a tool. <laughs> um, all right, and then lastly, just a couple spaces of white. Um, since there is some white applied in a few areas. So I think, I think what I have to do now is, well, I should get one more pass on our little figure's hair. Um, you know he's not that detailed, we do still want to pay attention to smaller parts.
All right, and so we're pretty much done. Um, <laughs> cheating, yes. Yeah, sometimes I feel like that. Um, so yeah, I, this is pretty much finished. Um, except for one thing, and that is a signature. And I'm gonna use my black light paint one more time. Um, I'll use a purple. Add the NJJ down at the bottom. So yeah, that's it. I'll give you a better look on Instagram real quick. But there's your finished painting of the Iron Giant. Um, thank you guys for, for tuning in and watching. And you can see our little uh, Hogarth Hughes. No wonder I can't remember that name. It's a weird name. <laughs> our Hogarth Hughes on the on the shoulder there. And a better look at our, our purple highlights. Thank you so much. Um, our nice S shield and our forest background over an afternoon sky. So once again, thank you for watching. Um, for those of you who aren't aren't following on Twitch yet, oh thanks. Yeah, um, please go ahead and do that, and please feel free to check out my patron page too. Um, Right now, I'm doing these paintings for the next Comic-Con. However, I do exclusive artwork just for Patron um, that I send out to people who sign up. And yeah, the way it works is I'm doing uh, polls. So uh, people on Instagram, they vote for what the subject is. And then for that month, that's what I work on and send out. So uh, give that a look. And thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys later.